1948 crisis over Berlin. One of the interesting things we've learned from listening to the actual tapes of the meetings during the missile crisis is what John Kennedy thought the crisis was about. He thought the Cuban Missile Crisis was, at its core, about Berlin. 1948, Berlin. Ever since the end of the war, three years before, tension has been increasing between the Allied military governments and the Soviet bosses of East Berlin. The Cold War was becoming war. Soviets tried to shut down Western traffic into the city in complete violation of all the four power agreements. The occupation personnel of the Western nations, both military and civilian, along with the two and a half million of the German population, were threatened with starvation. With all the arteries into the city closed, Berlin was paralyzed. The West decided to resist that and to supply the city by an airlift. In late June 1948, General Curtis LeMay, commanding general of the U.S. Air Forces in Europe, started the airlift. The United States and the Western Allies airlifted material, coal, I mean heating fuel, into Berlin and broke the Soviet blockade. It was a touch and go and it could well have been given up, but the people of Berlin really rallied to the Western side and it could not be given up after that point. You had two million people who had basically put their lives on the line there and that remained the case and was responsible for uh, an enduring American commitment in Europe. 